Familiarization of VC++ Environment Getting familiar with VC++ Environment Select New from File menu and select Project. Select Visual C++. Select MFC Application. Browse Location. Type your project name and create the project. Select Application Type. First we will create a dialog based project. Leave all default selections as it is. Design your dialog box or the graphical interface using the toolbox and the resource editor. Right click on the control item to get the properties. Execute the project. Close the solution. To view the executable file of the project, go to the, the debug folder of the project folder. This is the executable file. Now we will see different ways to load a solution in Visual Studio. Open Visual Studio. Select Open from File menu and select Project. Browse the solution file. Solution file has an extension of .sln. Execute the project. Close the solution. Go to the project folder and select the solution file. Drag and drop the solution file into the Visual Studio to open the solution. Here we can change the configuration of the project. Build configurations provide a way to store multiple versions of solution and project properties. By default, a project created with Visual Studio include debug and release configurations. Now we will see how to add files into a project. Go to project menu and select add existing item. Browse the location and select the file. In the Solution Explorer, newly added file is added under the source files. Right click on the file and select Remove. Delete option deletes the file from the project folder while Remove option excludes it from the project. Execute the project. Now we will create a document based application. First create a VC++ MFC application. Again select New from File menu and select Project. Select Visual C++. Select MFC application. Type your project name and create the project.
Select application type as single document. Leave all default selections as it is and create the project. Execute the project. Close the solution. To view the executable file of the project, go to the debug folder of the project folder. This is the executable file. Usually it is stored with an extension of .exe unless we specify the extension. Now, we will see how to add another project into the solution. Open a solution. Execute the project. Here, we can see there is a single project in the solution project 1. Right click on the solution name in the solution explorer. Select add and then select existing project. Browse the location and add the VC++ project file. Now there are two projects in the solution project 1. Here project 1 is the startup project. Execute the project and project 1 is executed. Now set project 2 as the startup project. Right click on the project 2 in the solution explorer and select set as startup project. Execute the project. Project 2 is executed. Close the solution. Open Project 2 solution. Only Project 2 is there in the solution. Execute the project and Project 2 is executed individually. Close the solution. Now open Project 1 solution. As Project 2 is added to the Project 1 solution, when we open the Project 1 solution, we can see Project 1 and 2 in the Project 1 solution. Execute the project. Project 2 is executed as it is already set as the starter project. Make Project 1 as starter project and execute the project. Project 1 is executed. Now we will see how to remove a project from the solution. Now we will remove project 2. Right click on the project 2 in the solution explorer and select remove. Project 2 is removed from the project 1 solution. Execute the project. Project 1 is executed.